Hey folks, when you buy a new device, whether it be the Samsung Galaxy S7 or the LG G5, the first thing you do is personalise it, putting on your own apps, widgets, the things that you like. I'm no different, I have a OnePlus One and I've made it my device. And in the past few weeks, I've been looking at what's on my Android device, but today is a compilation of those videos. So, I'm Rob Wilson, you're watching the Video Gadgets Journal, and this is what's on my Android smartphone. <laughs> In this series, we'll take a look at what apps and widgets I use on my phone every day, as well as my personal preferences. Links to everything mentioned can be found in the description, just below the like button. We'll start with my home screen setup. I only use three screens because I tend to find that if the app is not on my main home screen, I forget it's there anyway. So I have my main home screen of apps, a screen of widgets, and a screen with notes and less used applications. The main home screen is quite busy, as you can see, because I want quick access to as much as possible. I have six columns and seven rows of apps, and this is done through Nova Launcher, which lets you customize your grid size. I customize my folder icons, and I don't label any apps, since I know what they are anyway. More words would just make things more cluttered. The wallpaper is Minima Live Wallpaper, which I can automatically change with a double tap of a blank space on the home screen. Another personal preference of mine is infinite scrolling. This means that when I scroll directly from the far right home screen, it jumps to the far left home screen, so I never hit an edge. This is done through Nova Launcher. Next up, notice how my phone and text messaging apps are not tied to my dock. This is because I hardly ever make any phone calls and the only texts I get are from my Google account. I'm much more likely to use Facebook Messenger for both calls and texts, which is why they find themselves on the 7 icon dock. Again, that is thanks to Nova Launcher. Thanks to having a OnePlus X that uses physical navigation buttons, I don't put those buttons on my screen because they just take up valuable real estate. Having those navigation buttons on screen takes up around about 10% of the lower portion of the screen, not only on the home screen, but in apps as well. Widgets are on the menu now, the first of which is simply called Weather and Clock Widget. I've used this widget for years now and its semi-transparent design combined with weather, clock and battery information and changeable location make this suitable for any setup. Tapping on the weather feeds you through to the app itself where you can get forecasts broken down to the hour. Very useful for a cyclist like myself. I've also added a second widget from my app on my widget screen which gives me a weekly forecast. This is definitely my longest serving widget to date. Next up is the power toggle widget that gives me quick access to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, flashlight and various other controls. It's one of those widgets everybody needs on their home screen. And next up on my widget screen I have player controls for Podcast Addict. This is by far and away my most used app on my phone as I listen to football podcasts probably about three times a day. If there's one app I recommend most, it's this one. I'll finish off my widget screens now with two football or soccer widgets. Now I'm a huge football fan and this first widget displays a score of my favourite team when a match is being played. When you tap on the widget it takes you through to the match details including facts, lineup, and that all important league table. This all comes from an app called Footmob, which I've used for years and years and it gets better and better with every update. And if you're a fan of football, chances are you have a fantasy football team and this little widget from Fantasy Football Manager displays my weekly score. Tapping the widget takes me through to the app where I can pick my team, make transfers and see exactly which player scored what points. Oh, and let me know what you think of my team. Pretty good, yeah? And now for non-football fans, this widget in the corner shows a snapshot of my Wi-Fi and cellular data usage. You can tap onto the widget to get an even more detailed breakdown including monthly, weekly and daily totals. Now let's look at the dock. The first application is an unread counter for different icons like emails and app updates. It's an add-on for my Nova launcher and it's called Tesla Unread. As you can see there's loads of options to customise it, but for now I actually like the iOS style counter. Now let's get started on my main home screen. Under my weather and settings widget I have a torch button. It's called flashlight widget and the only reason I chose it is because I like the material design of the icon. On the left hand side of the top row of icons is Minima Live Wallpaper. I covered this briefly in my first video as you can double tap on any empty part of the screen to change the wallpaper, but the app gives you control over the themes, colours and textures you want to choose. There's so many options to choose from you can always make a unique wallpaper and another awesome feature I like about it is that you can set it to automatically change the wallpaper after a set period of time. And that brings to an end the first extended edition of what's on my Android smartphone. If you find any of the apps or widgets useful, do let me know in the comments below. And if you have a better alternatives, suggest them. 
and I may check them out and feature them in future videos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.